Hello everyone, I'm Jun Hua Li, I lecture at the University of the Essex. So I currently working in the range of the project. One of the project is called the aging project. So this project aims to find how brain changed when you lost your memory or your brain function is declined. So we initialize a project called Singapore Engine Project, and the leader of the project is my colleague, Lei Fen. He is based on National University of Singapore. So I collaborate, join to this project. So for my part, actually, because my background is computer science, computational neuroscience, so I have skills of the data analysis and the algorithms. So I utilized my experts to analyze the data because I think is that as aging affect as a function like memory, like emotion, something like that. But when our brain is declined, there's many, many manifests. So when we look at the different views, we can find the different biomarkers. For example, others research in the different fields, they might use the blood or they might use the gene to test how the brain related to the agent. But from my side, actually, I use some machine learning methods to try to look into the data recording from our brain. What is the advantage of my technology is that Based on the technology, is not invasive, so participants or people will not get harm from these measurements. So this is the good advantage. And when we collect the data, there's many many data. Actually, from the raw data, we cannot find anything. It's just huge amount of the data. And then I applied the machine and look into these data, especially as introduced in our paper published in the Aging US journal. Uh, that is the main portion of the results we have already obtained until now. And in this study, we try, we have already found is that in the different brain regions, there's connections between the regions. When we're thinking or when we do everything or you engage in a task, all the brain regions were collaborated together to achieve the task. So in this case, it means a connection existing between the regions. It's like the communication between the people in our daily life. So the brain regions also need to talk to each other to collaborate. So we found that when our brain is declined, the connectivity is also reduced. So it means in a normal brain, when a connection is existing, it's fine. If the connection is broken or like uh, weakened, so the communication might not as normal as uh, it should be. So in this case, uh, the efficiency of the brain is uh, declined. Also, uh, from the outside of the, the brain, we observed uh, like uh, memory decline or others uh, functional uh, declined. So, uh, from our study, we exactly find some important brain regions because in our brain, we have, according to the anatomical structure, we can divide into the different regions. As you might know, the different regions might mainly in charge in different functions, like frontal is mostly related to the cognition, like visual is mainly in processing of the visual signals. So that paper has actually gave a new perspective how we can employ machine learning methods to discover the brain's function or brain's mechanism. So in this way, we provide a tool or a new view to look into the brain. So of course, in this study, we just look into the engine. We also can use the same tool or the same methods to look at other parts of the body, like heart and other organs. And in the future, I think we are still keep this project alive. And because I am one of the collaborators of for this project, I think if 
Feng is here, he might introduce more about uh, the project itself. And uh, as I know, for this project has uh, involved different uh, the parts. I in charge of the data processing and also there are others like three or four teams, each of them in charge of the different uh, parts. For, for example, for the neurology team, they might use uh, blood samples to, to, to test uh, some biomarkers. I not really know about that, but, but from my side, actually, is use the non-invasive technology to uh, investigate the brain. And, uh, as you know, as reported in the paper, our samples is not large because by that time we haven't collected the data from a very huge cohort. But uh, the time passed, we collect more and more the people. So we will redo the analysis and uh, to try to check if these findings can be retained. So this is like to increase the confidence of the finding. And another point is that after this, or the continuing based on this project, we are thinking about the intervention because we have already know some mechanisms what leads to the aging. So in this case, can we give some intervention before they are going to more severe situation like a dementia? So when we find that some people have some mild impairment or just a very slight decline in the brain function, we gave some intervention. So we currently actually invested two main interventions. One is called education. Another is called memory training. So education means like that we include the people with very slight engine but there is no function failure. So we gave some instructions and to tell them how to make a healthy life. So how you can keep your healthy diet or how can you do the exercises daily so to keep a good figure, something like that. We gave such as education. This is one intervention. Another intervention is we gave the memory training. For example, when we learn a new things, we always need to practice many times and then we learn that skills. So for the brain function, we also think if this is feasible as way. So when we our brain is declined, we try to give some cognitive training. So for example, let them to remember some numbers and then repeat the numbers or let them to engage in some cognitive tasks, like uh, check a daughter for long scenarios. So in these cases, they need to practice their cognition. We hypothesize that uh, based on this training, their co cognition might be retained or maybe slightly improved. So we, we will compare the different interventions and also we will, will compare the groups with and without intervention. So this is the next step. And uh, for the further parts, I think is not uh, much related to this project. It's like that uh, they try to find uh, some stimulation or some drug to give some positive effect on the reversing of the brain decline. I think this is the brief overall of the project.